Hello! This video is about setting up your PC for Hobbit speedrunning. First of all, system requirements. You'll need a PC running any version of Windows since Windows 7. Previous versions might work, but nobody in the community has any experience with those. Any PC bought in the last decade should work, provided it has some kind of GPU. As for input devices, you just need a mouse and keyboard, nothing special. Secondly, the game itself. If you still have an old copy from way back, that's going to work. If you don't, you can download one from the internet. The game is pretty safely abandoned where. Although the rules don't specify a version, it is highly recommended you patch the game to 1.3, as that's considered the most stable. There are two alternatives for this. Firstly, you can use an official patch, downloadable from Patch Scrolls, for instance. Secondly, you can use a no CD patch. Again, the game is abandoned where. The downside is that that is not available for the international versions. Third, software. To run the game in windowed mode, you'll need DXWind. On my computer, running the current version of Windows 10, this is required to even run the game at all. The program comes with a preset for the Hobbit, which you should pick. The settings that need to be changed are as follows. Firstly, you'll need to specify the path to the game's executable, meridian.exe. Secondly, you should pick the resolution you want to play at. For me, this is 1440x1080, as that is the highest 4x3 resolution that my monitor can display. 4x3 is recommended because that is what the game was developed for, and the aspect ratio that most runners use. Certain visual references you might see later on or in other guides only work in 4x3 as well. For 1440x1080 to actually be available in the game, go to the video tab, check all these checkboxes down here, and enter the resolution again. For another important setting, you'll need to activate Expert Mode. In the Timing tab, you can then check CPU Slowdown and enter something like 1 by 10 as the ratio. Lastly, set the desired resolution in the game itself. This is why we activated CPU Slowdown. On modern PCs, the dialog box for confirming the resolution change can disappear too quickly to be able to select OK here. You might also want to consider moving the taskbar out of the way, as that can trap your mouse while playing. After selecting the resolution, close the game and deactivate CPU slowdown for the time being. One last annoying thing that you might have to do here is that each time you start the game, you have to go to the resolution menu and pick the resolution again for the window to be positioned properly. You don't need to click OK here though. For timing, we use Live Split. There's a splits file on our website which contains a split for each of the levels. You can also use MDPy's Auto Splitter, activatable in the splits editor. Keep in mind that this only works on the 1.3 no CD patch. On any other version, you'll need to split manually. OBS is the standard for streaming and recording. I'm not going to do a walkthrough of how to set it up precisely, but here are a few things to keep in mind. Use display or window capture instead of game capture. Game capture will not record the majority of load screen frames, which will cost you a few seconds over the course of the run, as we use loadless timing. The game is locked at 30 FPS, so streaming above that isn't going to get you a major improvement, apart from the live split timer. There is the potential to gain a few frames by streaming at 60 FPS due to the way our timing works, but that's not going to make or break your run. And that should be everything you need to know. All the resources mentioned can be found in the description. If you have any questions, leave them on this video or head over to our Discord server. And stay tuned for future guides. I plan to do a series on the whole game. Happy running!